Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game from developers. This one is from Hive Mind, and it is a collection of game-ready assets, mostly environments, and I am quite a fan of what we've got here. I'm going to show you, this is an Unreal Engine and Unity bundle. You're going to see a little bit of a guest star here, as I like to do. Here we can see it in Unreal Engine. This is one of, like, 40 plus items in the pack. Uh, this is from the Fab Store. This is Cthulhu's Temple. And as you can see, there is our boy Cthulhu. So that is the Unreal Engine version. Now let us go ahead and check out the Unity version. So here we are. We are in Cthulhu's Temple again. And there is our boy Cthulhu. Very cool. So again, this is a Unity and Unreal Engine bundle. Uh, but here we go. We are now in Godot, uh, and, uh, yeah, let's go take a look through Cthulhu's level. And there, there's our boy Cthulhu. So you can obviously get these out into other engines. There's also a brand new, um, Unity to Godot, uh, converter. I've got a video coming for that next week. Spoiler alert. But if you want to go ahead and check it out, this is actually what I used for this particular version. So I came from this here over to this obviously the lighting is a little bit different but it does an amazing job it's the same guy who did the unreal engine to godot converter he now has one for unity and you can actually get them both together i will have links for those down below if you want to go ahead and check it out so now a bit of a quick demo i'm going to use unreal engine only for these this is the uh asian temple environment so you see everything you see here for this so again there's 40 plus environments in here this one was redeemed on the fab store you redeem about 30 30, like 30 of them on fab. And then I would say um, about 15 to 20 of them redeem on the Unity asset store. The thing about the fab is you're doing it one key at a time, which is a pain in the butt, but it also allows you to share if you happen to have any of these already. And as you saw, you can get out from either Unity or Unreal Engine into other game engines, such as the Godot game engine. So even if you aren't using Unity and Unreal and you're willing to jump through a couple hoops, you can use these environments as well. One other demo we're going to showcase today, uh, and it's just an industrial slums level. I just picked a couple at random. Let's go ahead and check this one out during the day. All right, here we go. Uh, so this... Uh, it's not looking like daytime. All right, let me get the right level loaded. All right, loaded the wrong demo level. Here we go. So you can see this is kind of a slum city environment right here. Everything is, of course, modular. So if you need to bring something in, uh, they will be set up as uh, blueprints of some kind. So industrial slums like so, uh, blueprints, and then the various different pieces. So again, if I need to bring pipe in, you get this pipe generator blueprint that you can then go through all the settings for it. Uh, and then, of course, we've got all the various different meshes that are available here as well. Uh, decals, there's the, the static meshes in place. So if you need to have a bicycle wheel, you just drop it in, and there is your bicycle wheel. So everything is highly modular in nature. Uh, it's not an incredibly happy place to live, uh, but uh, gives you an idea of what this is for. And then come down here, you see a little bit of the background. So it's like a slum shanty town shack setup. Uh, and this is one of the environments. So three different environments. One was like Feudal Asia. One was Cthulhu's Temple. And then one is like this slum environment. It gives you an idea of what you can expect from these bundles. So quick hands on. Uh, you get 57 items. I undersold it. It's a lot of items in this bundle. 57 items uh, for 30 bucks US. Uh, there is another tier here, which very rarely makes sense. And then a $1 tier, you could get ambient horror loops and monster sounds. So if for some reason you're looking for audio, I think all the audio is confined to that bottom tier. Uh, no, bottom tier plus one. Too. So, okay, so the bottom stuff yeah, is all the audio related things, and then you started getting into the environment. So, you've got like castles, wooden buildings, stylized. Um, we, se we seem to have a bit of a mix of realistic, future, modern, and um, sci fi slightly here, and a bit of horror in there as well. So, we got a dungeon environment, uh, modular medieval castle, a warehouse, uh, another modular castle and dungeon mega pack, uh, Sherwood medieval temple. We saw this one in action, uh, a village. Uh, an alley, a modular alley setup. Uh, then we got, again, sci-fi outpost, sci-fi, Sherwood, a couple of stylized here, uh, more medieval towns. So if you're looking for that medieval or fantasy or post-apocalyptic, they definitely have you covered in this. We got a bunch of destroyed buildings here as well, a medieval town, uh, modular dungeons. You're going to notice here is where the, uh, 
Um, the key is, so you see this is an asset store key. This is a fab key. I'll show you that in just a second. So again, the fab you redeem one by one by one, but it gives you an idea. There's the Temple Cthulhu in both versions. I used the Unity and exported it out using the linked exporter down below. And again, I do have a video on that coming later on. And that gives you an idea. It's a huge number of environment packs here, both for Unity and Unreal. Obviously, a lot of the things are in both engines, as you can see right there. But there's so many items in here that you can't look, look at it and go, well, I wish it was just a unity because if you just took the say there's 17 of these items in here were unity assets that still leaves you a 40 item bundle and then even if you look at the other way if you're just here for uh unreal engine there's um good value one two uh three four five six seven um eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh, 15, so probably close to 20 items, maybe more for Unreal Engine in here as well. And then a couple of music packs just randomly thrown in at the bottom tier, probably to make that $1 tier thing happen, to be honest. Uh, by the way, if you use my link, it does help support me and I appreciate you very much. So you redeem these once again, you get a number of keys, you redeem them on your fab store. So here you can see I've already redeemed them all. So they're all available here. Now, interestingly enough, even though fab is cross game engine now, you only get the unity versions. So the Unity versions all redeem on Fab like this. Uh, so this is everything you're going to get from basically that guy up. So this is the, the stuff you're getting for Unreal Engine. And then here, the Asset Store, it's a single key redeem. And then you get all of this stuff right here. It's so all the Hive Mind, everything labeled as Hive Mind. Uh, I'm not sure if you're part of it. No, that's it. So here, this is what you're getting from Hive Mind. Uh, on Unity. So these are now available on the Unity Asset Store. You can download them directly with your package manager inside of Unity, etc. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, pretty sizable bundle. I like Hivemind stuff. We've definitely had some of these before. Uh, so the Medieval Village, I'm sure I've seen that. I'm sure I've seen that. I'm sure I've seen that. So some of this will definitely repeat. Make sure you don't already own what you might be interested in, especially if you are a fellow hoarder like me. But it's good. It's good value for sure. And again, you can get these out into other engines. Here you're getting a lot of them for Unity, a lot of them for Unreal. But if you want to get any of these out into Godot, there are a number of different ways, including, again, that brand new way. Stay tuned next week, and I will show you more about the Unity to go Godot exporter. But yeah, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.